the Yankee Pier locations. Okay, Honey, more thanks. information on our website, so guys. Much. Thanks so thanks much. Thanks for the market. Oh, yummy. Have you ever thought about going to a wine country for a little wine tasting, but you thought, I don't want to deal with the crowds and the congestion the and setting up the formality of setting up everything? Well, there's a stress free way to enjoy the wine country, and I found out how. Check this out. We're going to do a little wine tasting, a little walkthrough of the, the facilities at each place, right? and uh, kind of enjoy the views. So that when we enjoy the views, we're going to be in, in the Vine Rover vehicle? Yeah, we're going to start out, out in the Vine Rover. It's an open air Land Rover. All right, so we've got the wine tasting, we've got the tour of the facility, so I guess we'll see how the wine is made, and then we get to even drive through the venues if we want to. Yes. I arrived here early, and I've been pacing myself. I think I'm ready for more than one stop, so let's see how many we can hit today. All right, sounds good. This is cool because, and I've done the, the thing where you, you, know, you get in a limo or a car and you drive to yeah. the property, but this makes you feel like you're part of the vineyard. You yeah. Know? You can reach out and touch it. You miss a lot of stuff. You yeah. Know? So you can get to see you know, the vineyard, you kind of feel a part of it. You got all this different terrain out here. Oh, Great weather. Oh yeah, it's awesome. This is Bella Vineyards. Yep, this is Bella. Looking good. So we're going to go and do a little tasting? Yeah, we're going to go inside the Let's taste room. Let's do it. Room, Let's do it. I'm ready. Hey, Ross. How you doing? Hey, how you doing? Right. Good man. to see you. Good to see you. Good well, luck. I hear you guys make some good wine here. What, what wines do you make? Well, we focus on Zinfandel and Rhone varietals. So, Oh, I love Rhone varietals. Uh, you have some Syrah or something I like do. That? I yeah, do. Okay. It's got a nice Syrah that's um, produced from vines on this property. So tell me about the caves. What do I see in the caves there as we walk through it? Well, um... These caves are about four and a half years old, mm -hmm. and this is where all our barrel storage happens. Right. So, um, temperature and humidity is right where we want it. Um, we just drilled and blasted these out of the hillside, but we wanted to keep the old vineyard intact above us, so went right underneath. Okay, so this is Holly. This right? is Holly Vineyards. Uh, it's a small place, kind of hard to find, as you can see coming up the road. Welcome, Welcome to Holly Wines. Right, good to be here. Good to have you here. Good to see you. I hear you guys make uh, pretty good Viognier here. Well, I think that we make the best. We're very well known for our Viognier. You got some out here? Yeah, we do. Let's yeah, try let's some. Let's have a little taste. Yeah. My intention was that this was just going to be a li my little kind of hobby project. But then my sons decided after they graduated from college they wanted to come in and help me, so we revved it up a little bit. And, uh, and now it's more than a hobby. Family. We're all about quality, we're all about small. We're not looking for big crops, we're not looking to make lots of wine, we just want to make the very best wine in the world and that's what we focus on. A small winery with a big flavor. Yeah. <laughs> okay guys, thanks a lot. Wine is great, keep up the good business. <laughs> Hi. How I'm, are you? I'm Spencer. I'm Carrie Martin. Hi, Carrie. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And I guess uh, you already know Jay, so I'll sit down here. Yeah. And my question okay. is, if I had to drink just one of your wines, which one would you suggest I, I drink? Well, we're known for our Zinfandels. We make yeah. actually six different Zins, and um, so I would probably pour you one of our Rock Pile Zinfandels oh, rock from piles. the Rock Pile Appalachian. Okay. Because um, we've owned that land up there for six generations, and um, we're the largest vineyard owners in the Rock Pile Appalachian. Sounds good. Um, just a nice big Zin. Yeah. And I'm sure you'll enjoy it. This tasting room is different from any tasting room I've ever been in. I mean, I feel like I'm uh, in a restaurant, you know, being served in a, in a classy, elegant place. What's the story behind this room? Well, we wanted it to be very warm, but also very unique. Um, a lot of tasting rooms you go to these days, there's a lot of wood around, um, you know, that kind of feel. But we also, we wanted a more contemporary look. We have the old pictures around the tasting room, but we also, you know, we have the stools. Um, and that, you know, makes people just feel a little bit more comfortable. They can sit, relax. Well, Jay, this has been a great day. I mean, you've taken me from um, the vine to the barrel to the bottle to the glass to my palate. Nice. Glad you <laughs> had fun. Great. Really enjoyed it. Thanks. Spencer. We'll, we'll rove the vines again some Yeah, sounds great. All right. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Those vine rovers, they're pretty cool. I, I mean, it's, it's a very informal, casual way to do wine tasting without you know, having to set up appointments and without having to get all fancily dressed. And extending the theme of stress-free wine tasting, if you're looking for an easy guide to wine pairing, there are wines out now called 
wine that loves this white wine here is wine that loves grilled salmon. Oh, okay. that's easy. And it tells you on the back what to look for in terms of intensity and acidity. The red one is wine that loves pizza. And you can find out more about the wine that loves and the various foods that these wines love on our website. That's and pretty cool. Yeah, they're just under 13 bucks too. Yeah, oh, that, yeah, yeah, they're inexpensive also. That's yeah, cool. That's one of the best parts. <laughs> and you, that, that trip, you had a designated driver the whole time. Designated nice? driver all the way, went to all these little off-the-beaten-path wineries, and, you know, it's very casual. You don't have to get dressed up. You don't have to make appointments, and you can come and go as you please. It's a really cool way to see the wine country. That is nice. More yeah. information on our website. Well, right now, you're going to bundle up your little one in style because, you know, it's fall, mm -hmm. close to getting